his executive order asking for information from schools on this by the end of next year, by May of next year, rather. Yeah, but there's concern his plan could impact federal money for schools. News Force Adria Goins following the story. Adria, what's up here? Uh, Kevin, DEI programs not only support minorities, but also veterans, low income and first generation students, adult learners and international students. However, Governor Stitt says those tax dollars should be focused towards education. Governor Kevin Stitt signing this executive order, taking aim at diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in state agencies and higher education. That's going to shift the focus in education uh, back to educating our young people. The order asks for a list of DEI positions, departments, activities, procedures, and programs to eliminate and dismiss non-critical personnel, giving a deadline of May of next year. We're spending too much state dollars uh, on DEI officers, and we need to stop that in the state of Oklahoma. Dr. Allison Garrett, Chancellor for the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, talking about DEI on Flashpoint back in February. This is Flashpoint. And many of our institutions don't have anyone who has that um, title, and, and certainly not on a full-time basis. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, those officers are working on student programming, uh, bringing in speakers that represent a variety of viewpoints. According to the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, a little more than $10 million was spent on DEI programs in the past decade, accounting for about three-tenths of one percent of all higher education spending. Stitt's decision sparking a firestorm of reaction from universities and lawmakers across the state. OU's president saying the news evokes deep concern and uncertainty about the future and in many ways feels like a step backward. Norman lawmaker Annie Minns saying trying to swindle college students out of their opportunity to interact with and understand that diversity is absurd and futile. Stillwater lawmaker Trish Ranson saying diversity, equity and inclusion policies are put in place to deter discrimination of marginalized communities. The executive order means Oklahoma joins other states targeting DEI programs like Texas and Florida. Diversity and inclusion is a recruitment tool highlighted on the websites of private universities and businesses across the country and here at home, including Gateway First Bank, whose majority owner is the Stitt Family Trust. Some DEI programs are tied to federal funding and accreditation. I asked Governor Stitt how this decision would affect that funding, and he told me that they would cross that bridge when it comes.